How can Republicans justify this? Well, here to try and do just that, Seton Motley, president of lessgovernment.org. Seton, good welcome. evening. Welcome back. Um, those pesky poor people. Uh, do, you, do you see yourself well, you've as got the Robin, Robin Hood, Hood thing. You've got the Robin Hood thing exactly wrong. The real Robin Hood stole from the tax collectors to return it to the people who paid the taxes. He, Food stamp recipients aren't... He was stealing from the rich. Well, no, okay. he wasn't. He was depends stealing on, from the tax it, it collectors. Depends on the version of the fairy tale. You no, the read. actual <laughs> fairy tale. The actual real story yeah. was he was stealing from the tax collectors to return it to the people who paid the taxes. Okay, so these, so these guys are stealing... They're not stealing. Then, then it's an imperfect metaphor. What it, these guys it's are your doing metaphor. Is they, I'm just trying to correct it. Well, thank you. What these guys are doing is they are saying we're going to reduce benefits on working people and and you know lower income and middle income people, and we're going to make giveaways, sure not benefits, giveaways, benefit giveaways. Food stamps are giveaways. Food stamps. So okay. Well, let's let's call on that. They're giveaways. Are you suggesting that we should that you want to live in a society where people are hungry? I want to live in a society without food stamps. Yes. There, you realize there are, I mean, literally, there are millions of children in America who go to bed every night. I go to bed hungry, hungry. at night. I don't want food stamps. You don't look hungry to me, see. Well, uh, I, uh, you know, uh, you think, you think a the year old kid whose, who's, uh, you know, parents are, let's take the worst case example, you know, born in Appalachia and dysfunctional and alcoholic, and that kid shouldn't get a decent meal because his parents are screwed up. That's the worst case. I mean, or, or somebody who's just, you know, lost their job. They, they, I they was put correcting your metaphor. They're tax eaters, not tax providers. Robin Hood no. stole from the tax co uh, collectors to return to the people who paid well, the taxes. We, are, we already got that yes. part of it. But the, the, the point is that these people are... It, it is an unconstitutional uh, governmental action. Do you, do you really believe that the people it's of America unconstitutional. We don't are going to go along with the Republicans and say, oh yeah, this is great, let's, you know, let's just forget about... Have you, did you not it, witness last November's election? We don't have the money anymore, Tom. I don't recall any of those governors running on the platform of, I'm going to cut benefits to people. It's not benefits, they're giveaways. Well, whatever. I, don't, again, re I don't recall any I don't, of those I don't recall ever getting a thank you. Any of those platforms. I don't recall ever getting a thank you. Every, they just bitch all the time when they get free stuff from us. What are you talking about? The, 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 the people who get government money. Oh, they're, spo they're supposed to thank come it. to us and just, oh, thank you so much for your charity? Hey. When, when, when I write thank you notes at Christmas, oh man, I'm telling you, what, 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 taxes. You know, we, taxes we are, are we are 14 price. and a half trillion dollars in debt. Thanks to Ronald Reagan and his tax cuts. Wrong. That's that where it all began. Fundamentally untrue. That's he where it doubled, all began. He, he doubled re the national debt. No, he doubled revenue to the treasury. The problem was, Tom, Tip O'Neill quadrupled social spending. No. That was the problem. No, no, no. He had to pay Ronald, off Tip O'Neill with social spending to get the defense right. spending he needed Ronald to Reagan shut down the Soviet the Union. tax rate from 74% down to 27%. And doubled tax revenue and, to the treasury. And ran up. Two trillion dollars doubled. Debt. It was a spending he, problem. It wasn't a revenue problem. I know it was a spending problem. Reagan it was spent a billion, a trillion dollars on Star Wars. It was not a on a That's, fantasy. That is a totally made up number. He did not spend a trillion dollars on Star Wars. Well, he certainly established the He didn't the spend in eight years a trillion dollars on the national defense. Well, he spent a trillion you dollars on something. You are making up numbers out of whole he cloth. He spent two trillion dollars on something because when he came into office, our debt was less than a trillion. That was the bribe of Tip O'Neill and the liberal was, Democrats in oh, Congress on, on social spending to to get the defense spending Virtually we needed to shut down the Soviet Union. Every every budget that has been submitted by any president in the last 40 years has come within two percent. Congress has, has ended up oh, until that Obama, within, Pelosi, and Reid. No, no, even now has come no. within. We haven't seen this. Budget yeah, we're yet. spending 25 percent of the GDP right now. Been within we're 2 only collecting. So we're wait, Reagan. We only have Reagan 18 was proposing those budgets. We're spending 25 percent of GDP. We're only collecting 18 percent. We're not anywhere near 2 percent right now. Yeah, Reagan, we need to Obama raise our collections. No, we need to lower the spending. <laughs> no, we need the trillion dollar stimulus, We've which got, worked terribly. You got, you got all, you know, in the got all these banksters. You got guys on Wall Street who are earning two billion dollars a year on average. That's the average pay for the. That's not the average pack. For the top That's just like your trillion law, dollars on Star Wars. Top that is a totally fraudulent number. That's a totally it's, fraudulent it's from number. It's the Financial Times, seat, and it's which, the is a, which is a whacked newspaper. Well, you just quoted a trillion dollars on Star Wars, and that was totally wrong, totally bogus, totally you made ten, up. You got, ten, you got the top fund, hedge fund managers on Wall Street making $2 billion a year, and they're paying 15% maximum income tax. That's fine. It's their money. This is. It, it it's is, their money. It they is, earned they, it. They did not earn anything. Well, what did they you, make of value? According to you. What did these guys make of value? Me. Other than creating collateralized debt obligations that went from zero when it was legalized by Phil Graham's lobbying, you know, his wife Wendy on behalf of Ken Lay with Enron, up until nine hundred trillion dollars worth of CDOs. I mean, just in. They have shareholders air. that have determined that that's the worth. 
The only the only business a person gets paid is the person they writing have, the check and the person catching it. It's nobody else's business. They have George Will had a compensation. George points. Will had a great line. Envy is the only one of the seven deadly sins that doesn't give the per perpetrator a moment's pleasure. Stop being envious. Stop. This being, has nothing to do yes, with envy. It absolutely this does. Has to do with the fact that there are Mind people in this country business. who are hungry. Mind your own business. There are people business. in this country who are working their butts off, who are working 15 hours, five, ten, or ten. You mean like hours, me? Our days. You mean like me? Who are doing so for pennies? Who are doing so for nothing? And and they can't make it. They can't make it in this country anymore. So cut. So, so cut taxes. Cut spending, and the, and the private sector will expand. It's not how it's worked. Always worked. It's always worked. It has it, it, cut spending. It has absolutely never worked. Well, we've never that tried way. it because the government's been inexorably Actually, growing for a hundred years. You had for, from you know, for, up until in, up until in, 1921 when Harding came into office, the top tax rate was 91 percent. Harding comes in. No, drops it's not it down true either. Oh, Hard, it is true. 21. Harding, yeah, Harding, 1921. Yeah. He drops it from 91 to 25 percent. Coolidge cut it, and the Roaring Twenties came in. Uh, exactly. Yes. A bubble economy. It was not and a bubble economy. And that bubble burst no. in 29. Hoover and crushed it with the same thing for the last 30 years, Hoover ever since crushed Reagan it with taxes. that top tax Her, no, who, what we have seen is one bubble after another. We've seen the dot-com bubble, the stock bubble, the real estate bubble. But we always land are, higher than when we were before. No, we don't. Yes, well, we do. Well, Absolutely, if, we okay, do. If we are the rich, no, right. everyone You're does. absolutely right. Everyone the top does. 1%, more 80 people, of all the more benefits people, since Reagan wait, was president wait, and wait, one of the top 1%. More people under Reagan moved from the lower fifth to the highest fifth than stayed in the lowest fifth. That's a statistical fact. So don't tell me the lower people don't move up. They move up 14% to 13%. I'm talking about during the eight years. The Re eight, you know, Reagan's big tax cut was only a year and a half before he and ended what his did presidency. Bush do in 90? Let's look what at did the Bush last do in 30 90? years. The what did Bush do in 90? Years, he raised taxes. Is a steady, he raised taxes yeah, and it he, killed the economy. Incrementally. And it killed the economy. No, the economy was already dying because no, of what it, Reagan no, that, did. That's what killed And what it. we have seen over the last 30 years is just a steady destruction of the middle class. Anyhow, Seton, thanks for showing It's the government that destroys the middle class. Yeah, well, tell that to anybody who lived through the 50s, 60s, or 70s. Anyhow, Seton, thank you.